We always need a key holder. This is a key holder I made years back. And this was basically just a wooden switchboard or something like that. It was made for that purpose. It has got four pieces of wood stuck together, cut at 45 degrees, then a piece of plywood put on it. I smoothed it and made a little painting over it and added some glitter or sequins over it. But it has become old and dated. I want to give it a fresh look. Now for hanging, there is one of these loop hooks there and the same loop hook can be opened up to make hooks for hanging keys like this and they also look dull and rusted maybe so I need to refresh them. I thought of just refreshing it rather than buying a new one or making a new one. So first thing I'm going to do is scrape off these sequins that I put there. They have all become dull. They don't shine anymore. So I'm going to... I also made some 3D painting effect here. This also I'm going to scrape off. So I'm doing that with a little blade. Laying it flat against the surface and then just scraping it off. So after I do that, I'll just take my sandpaper and sand the whole surface and even sand these uh, hooks, metal pieces, so that it is ready for a refresh. After the sanding, dusting and cleaning of the piece, it's ready to paint. I'm using acrylic colors here and I wanted to give it that brocante, vintage, bit majestic look to it. Yet it should gel it with the contemporary lifestyle, so cottage core, as well as boho vibes mixed with it. So I'm using something like a patina color in dark patina shade and I painted the base of it, the lower portion of it. And I made it a shade lighter using some white to it. So I just added more white to it, made it a lighter color and painted the top. Then I use some white paint to make some patterns on it and this just kept on adding little details. My today's video is part of the monthly what would you make challenge hosted by Zana from OK at Home DIYs and Kony from Kony's Creative Creations. And their guest host this month is Teresa from Teresa BTIY. I'll put links to their channels and the playlist down below. As I was telling about details, I used some bronze color and I painted the hooks with it to make it look like a bronze hardware.
I also painted a thin strip between the two different color shades to demarcate it further, make it look more majestic, royal. Little fine details are what makes a piece perfect. After I had painted it all, I also painted the hooks. I'm painting little circles at the base where the hooks are attached to the wood. To an eye, from a distance, it would look like part of the hook and the hardware is going to look expensive this way. So that's a way to upgrade this little piece of key holder. Next, I used up all the bronze color left on the brush, which was almost dry and just brushed it over the piece. It just adds to the shimmer. It's looking like a beautiful vintage decoupage or patchwork which looks so beautiful with boho and cottage core style. Small little item in the house but so useful. A key holder is something that every household needs and it's a great way to keep keys organized or even leash and handbags can be kept on key holders if they are a little bigger in size of course. But I really like this piece and I'm going to cherish it because it will go so wonderfully with my decor. Do let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below and I'll see you very soon. Thank you so much everybody for your kind support. Have a blessed day.